Welcome to Reed Financial Insurance Group, RFIG LLC TV or Auto Insurance Television. I'm your host, Richard Reed, once again. Hey, this is going to be short and simple today. I'm just going to chat with you about something that's called a lien holder or an additional interest. I have a lot of people calling me saying, Mr. Reed, you know, what is this lien holder thing? Why is it significant? I mean, and really, what happens if something happens? Okay, so that's what I'm going to talk to you about briefly. The lien holder, the finance company, the bank that gave you the loan to buy the purchase that you're riding in, your vehicle. That's who they are, the people you make your monthly payments to. All right, why are they significant? Well, I think it's clear. They loaned you the money, they agreed to the finance rate to help you get the vehicle that you're in. Now, if you were to ride off that lot and the vehicle was totaled and you put down, say, $1,000, you're just going to walk away from the loan. They're not going to get any money back, and that's not what they're interested in. What they're interested in is is collecting the money that you owe them that is still outstanding. That's why they are significant. Okay, so we put them on the auto policy and they usually require that you carry collision coverage and comprehensive coverage on your policy. Now the reason they require those things is because with those coverages, if the vehicle is damaged, they can assess the vehicle, say it's a total loss and in this example, they can have the vehicle assessed, get the market value on what the vehicle is currently worth, they can then look at what you owe in terms of a loan the loan will be paid off in full if there's any additional money left over say your thousand dollars down then you'll receive that after the lien holder has been satisfied on the loan that you have outstanding okay unfortunately a lot of people are getting into this type of financing where they're buying products with no money down they have no equity they have no interest and that type of example they're gonna be what's called upside down and what happens essentially is let's say your vehicle is worth ten thousand dollars but you bought it a year or two ago you still owe ten to the bank however in the way you finance the vehicle okay and then we have a total loss the car comes back with a value of seven thousand dollars all right so they give you seven thousand dollars but you owe ten they're gonna take the seven thousand dollars they're gonna give it to the lien holder the lien holder will accept that as a full settlement from your insurance carrier at that point They'll trade off the title so that the salvage can be disposed of just for the sake of getting rid of the salvage. But you would still owe the $3,000 to the bank, okay, because you would be in an upside down position. So let's do what we can to avoid that. I think smart economics, a little bit of self-sacrifice, leads to equity and money that we can use for down payments so that we can buy products and utilize these services appropriately. All right. Hopefully this crash in this market will teach people a few things. Hopefully it won't hurt them too badly. That's what a lien holder is in a nutshell. I hope that that was helpful. Um, any other questions you want to elaborate on these things further, give me a call. My number is 770-994-5596. We're Reed Financial Insurance Group. We specialize in auto, home, and life insurance. We write health care policies through Kaiser Permanente. I look forward to hearing from you. My email address is gainsurancebroker at yahoo.com. If you have a question, ask me. All right. Have a good one. Take care. I'll do my best to get the answer if I can't answer it right away. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.